Hey guys, we're back here for part two, back here at Amon Carter Stadium today uh, to finish up our tour that we, we didn't quite get finished the other day and we didn't get the introductions right the other day and I want to make sure that y'all knew, most of you know who this guy is. This is Ross Bailey who is Associate AD of Operations here at TCU and been a great, great horn frog over his time here at TCU. In fact, uh, my first year of playing ball here at TCU was his first year as the full trainer here at, uh, with the training staff and uh, so Ross and I go back a long ways. Uh, I've got a lot of good memories together, got a lot of few bad memories together too, but uh, we've great seen all these great changes that have occurred here at TCU. So what are we going to be looking at today, Ross? What and we're going to get you into the, the sports medicine complex and into the uh, the locker room, we're actually going to have David Gable, who's our associate head trainer that primarily works with football, to show you his space. And then we're going to have Matt Lewis, who's our assistant AD for equipment operations, show you everything that, that happens back in the equipment room and then in the, uh, the football locker room. Let's go take a look. Wow, we're excited. We're here with Matt Lewis, Assistant AD of Equipment Services. And I know he's concerned today because everything is not prim and proper in here like it will be, but there's been a lot going on here, right, Matt? Yes, sir. We uh, This past month, we've had to move uh, six to eight storage containers down here uh, from our, our temporary storage. Uh, we've also been receiving about 50 to 60 boxes per day uh, for the past two to three weeks uh, of new apparel. So. Uh, We've, we've kept very busy over the past uh, month uh, with moving and, and getting new shipments. Well, he's going to follow us along here a little bit. You can just point out and show us, and we'll make stops if you feel like we need to talk about some of this. Sure thing. All right. Let's uh, go look back here, number one, guys. Uh, this is our main storage here. Uh, back here, you can see it looks like a Nike warehouse. We will store shoes for uh, football, soccer, track and field. Uh, just to name a few, we will has, have other sports back through here as well. Uh, and as you come, uh, you know, again, you can see varying shoes uh, there. We've got uh, running shoes. Uh, we've also got cleats on this other side for football. So that's one of the latest and greatest Size styles. 13. I wonder who wears 13s around here. <laughs> hey, cool. So that's a big part of our team right there is uh, 13s and 14s. So. 13 and 14. Yes, sir. Which that's, that's a good thing. Where all the good looking big bad uglies come that's from. Exactly there right. we go. That's exactly right. So some of this other side you'll see uh, apparel, hats, those type of things, guys. And uh, you know, if you want to, go ahead and roll that. Go ahead and all roll right. That. See how there easy it is. Each one of these units right here can hold up to 10,000 pounds. So you can see how easy it is to turn. I mean. My They're, little girls can come back here and turn them. Oh, I was going to tell them there's like 10,000 pounds of pressure on that thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but uh, again, just some more of, of the apparel that uh, you'll see for game day, uh, for practices and those type of things. Cool, guys. The latest and the greatest from Nike. You guys always want to know where your Nike gear is? I think TCU hogs all of it. Here we go. <laughs> there's the swoosh got it in here wow this is cool like a kid in the candy store here this yes, would be awesome yes sir all right Matt Wes just came up with a great question uh, by the way this feels pretty good here yeah. I, that, that, that brings back old memories right here absolutely well we can get you fit up and we'll get you out on the field here in just a little bit if you want they don't have a weight limit in college football absolutely oh, okay all right sure well maybe <laughs> maybe I could get off one time without somebody having to give me mouth to mouth okay absolutely. all right uh, look around here, guys. This is uh, this is some of the pretty pearlies here. The helmets uh, that they've uh, got as part of the uniforms here. As you see, these things are beautiful. These aren't quite like the work of art we had back when we played. That's why I had to put this on today. <laughs> but uh, I believe West asked the question. Uh, these guys, how many different uniform changes does CCU have? We have uh, four different combinations of uniforms or four different colors of uniforms which we can combine those four mix and match any way you want to 
Uh, we've got three different game helmets with question mark on another. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens there. Right. Uh, and then, uh, you know, behind you here, you'll see where we've got stored. Uh, uh, each player has a section set out for him. So he has eight spaces here in which we organize their apparel, their game helmets, shoes, all those type of things. So uh, we're pretty fortunate to, to be able to have this new space to, to lay it out real nice for our players. Okay. Back again with Matt here. What's going on around here, Matt? We're, uh, I see a lot of uh, helmets lined up over here on the right. Uh, lots of different items. And then we got some, uh, is this coaches, uh, it's coaches items down apparel. here on the floor? Yep. Coaches apparel down yep. here. Yep, we're laying that out and getting ready to organize it for them. So. I, I see. So one of these actually could be Gary Patterson's. Is yes, that correct? That is correct. All right. Well, that, that could mean that they're the first class hitchers. Is that right? Is that <laughs> the Gary Patterson hitchers that's in here? That's right. Well, that's, that's awesome. Right. We, we want to make sure we keep them stocked and looking good like our staff does look. So Absolutely. Uh, that's great. You guys are the one that provide and take care of all this for them and uh, keep it in order. And uh, great job. Absolutely. Well, it's, it's a lot of fun. So. What you see around us here is just uh, some of the laundry bins and everything for the players and then over here was practice helmets and along this practice helmet area is where we uh, lay out and do all of our helmets each week. Uh, so I've got a good group of student managers who uh, they, they handle all these helmets and keep them nice and shiny and clean for game day. Excellent. Matt, we're here at the really, really good stuff. I mean, this is what a lot of guys on the forum have been wanting to see and this is the locker room. Isn't it? I can tell you I've already gotten a sneak peek, but this is something else. Uh, tell me a little bit about it before we get going here. Sure thing. Well, it's a top-notch uh, locker room, without a doubt. Uh, we increased our space by probably about two to 3,000 square feet uh, from what we had before. Uh, we increased our ceiling height, which allows uh, better ventilation through the locker room. And then, as you guys will see here in just a second, the look of it is outstanding. Uh, we feel like it's top-notch, uh, not only for uh, you know the Big 12, but around the country. So we're pretty proud of uh, this new locker facility we've got. And what a great opening to it! I, I look up above, I see the alma mater uh, up here, so the guys can see that and, and be really in touch with what it's all about here at TCU. And then you have some of the great legends down below: uh, Carter, Washington, Curley, uh, Dalton, Bob Lilly. Uh, it goes on and on, New House, uh, it, it, Jerry Hughes, these guys, this is part of the legends, and most of them recent legend here, and then of course the great LT, uh, that have been here for the most part for the last 10 or 15 years, and uh, been great in the uh, resurgence of Horn Frog football.
This is your typical horn frog locker here, is it yeah, not? This is it, man. Uh, this is uh, just atypical, right? So, atypical. There yeah. you go. <laughs> we actually uh, were able to spend. Uh, we, we met with six different locker vendors to come up with this design uh, between Ross Bailey, Mike Sinkfield. Uh, I had a little bit of input myself. Uh, we took uh, the bits and pieces that we liked from all six, found one manufacturer who would get this done for us, and here's the re end result. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have everything stainless inside. Uh, and that is uh, for functionality from our standpoint for these big football guys. Uh, so that way they don't mess up the wood. So, and I tell you what, you got a great fitting pair of shoulder pads. Is that it right there? That's it. I thought there were maybe wide receivers, but you know, me being the split in I was. Right, and, exactly. You know, I, I really don't. Some people say I played offensive guard. If that's what it was, it wasn't very good. So I'd prefer just to be a wide receiver this time around. Absolutely. That, I think that pair of pads is perfect for you. Okay. I, yeah, well, we'll do this later. All right. <laughs> But uh, we, as you guys can see, we got a great locker that has ventilation all through it, and uh, you know something we're pretty proud of. When you close it all up, uh, obviously you get the nice wood look uh, that, that uh, you can see there. And, and one little feature we didn't point out uh, is the uh, outlet in each locker. So these guys can charge up their laptops for studying and and homework and things like that. Are, are you sure that's for studying and homework, or is that for? Uh, iPods and uh, uh, iPads and uh, all that kind of iPhones and it's definitely for laptops. That's our story, and we're sticking to it. Got it. All right. <laughs> well, we pop in here in the players' shower facility. This is a uh, I don't know what you say about a shower facility, except uh, a lot better than what you and I have at home. And. Uh, Sounds great. All right, I'm here today also with David Gable, who has been the head football trainer here since 2003. Done a great job keeping our guys healthy on the field. Uh, been doing fabulous. Uh, but now he's going to tell us a little bit about this new training facility that we have. And uh, uh, as you can see behind us, one of the most famous quotes, I believe that's attributed to uh, Dutch Meyer. Is that not correct? Uh, fight them till hell freezes over, then fight them on the ice, which I think we all know what it is. But David, come back in here. Uh, just give us a little scope of what we're fixing to see here. Sure. Well, what we're going into now is uh, the Walsh Sports Medicine Facility. Uh, it's uh, evolved over the years since I've been here. I think this is our third renovation now. But what we've done is we've actually just about tripled our space. Uh, from January until now since we opened up just a couple weeks ago. So uh, a lot of renovations, a lot of new things, uh, new rehab equipment. Uh, we, we've come a long way. We've got some new toys to play with and, and the space turned out outstanding. We couldn't ask for a better facility and, and honestly think it's, uh, if not the top in the Big 12, it's right up there with everyone else in the Big 12. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about our new area. excited about uh, now that we've moved in what we see behind us and, and right now we're doing a little uh, maintenance pre-camp maintenance on the pools to make sure we're ready to go by uh, Monday morning but what we have here is a Hydroworks 3500 series pool and the neat thing about this pool in particular is that we actually had it customized a little bit and we added a section in the middle the reason we did that is because we wanted to get as many athletes in it at one time as we could to benefit from exercising underwater and what, that, what this is going to allow us to do is, um, anytime you get in the water, it takes some of the body weight off your lower extremities. Uh, and you get the resistance, you know, if you want to do upper extremity exercises. But we can get people in this water pretty quickly right after an injury. The sooner we can get them moving around and, uh, you know, on a treadmill, running, jumping in the water where they're not full body weight, 
the quicker we can get them back on the field and on the court. So this is going to be critical to uh, what we do on a daily basis. David, more of the impressive uh, training facility. Um, what happens in this area that, that, that we're in right now? Well, the area we're standing in right now is our main treatment area, and we've tried to separate. We have obviously our wet area over there, our taping area that we saw a few minutes ago, and then this is our main treatment area. Um, what we've done in here is, is this is where we do a lot of our hands-on stretching, massage, electrical modalities, ultrasounds, that kind of stuff goes on in this area here. And we've actually doubled the number of treatment tables we had from the old facility. So again, there, it's going to just make us more efficient uh, when we come, come in every day before practice, post practice. And uh, we've added some office space here too as well, which again makes our staff more efficient. So square footage wise, like I said, it's almost triple the size we had. And, and what's most important is the number of treatment tables we have and the number of athletes we'll be able to treat at one time now. All right, this, I'm really excited about what I've heard is going on here, that we're going to have something really unique in the Big 12 that probably no one else has. And let me know what this is going to be about. Okay. This area we're looking at behind us here where the, the windows are smoked out, it's kind of our, our secret weapon room, and that's why we're standing outside of it right now. But uh, this is actually going to be the room where our cryo sauna will be housed. And basically what that is is it's a nitrogen chamber. So we'll be using nitrogen gas, which will actually cool the surface of the skin temperature down to minus 250 degrees in about three minutes time. So the main benefit we hope to get out of this cryo sauna is uh, recovery. So people who are fatigued, uh, you know, we go through a lot of practices and just over time the muscles get tired, get fatigued. That's where this uh, machine will come in and just allow us to speed up the recovery time in between sessions again. Wow, that sounds great. You doing outside packaging for old Letterman and alumni like Wes? Absolutely, and I? absolutely. Yeah, well, great. We're, we're going to sign up for the, <laughs> that package. Everyone's <laughs> welcome. <laughs>
But if you want enhanced content, you want some recruiting news, you want uh, some inc incredible videos that we're shooting, like the ones we're doing now, and more to come, uh, 20 bucks and 12 cents will all cost you. So uh, we're gearing up, and guarantee our guarantee to you is it's only going to go up a penny a year. So in 100 years, it'll be uh, $21 and 12 cents. So. Um, so that's, uh, that's a, just a brief look. We're going to have our banquet coming up on the 31st of August. That was my next question. We've got the big State of the Frogham banquet the Frogham. coming up. We've got some great guests for that. Uh, it's going to be in the usual place, Papa's Burgers on uh, I-30, uh, August 31st. We'll have more information about that uh, very quickly. So stay tuned. And one last thing, Scott. I've got a question here from Frogs on a Plane who's uh, asked me. Uh, he said, you guys seemed a little sensitive here this week, especially Scott. Is um, is everything going okay with him? He seems a little verklempt. I, I just, I, I, I just can't continue all this. This, this guy. Oh, well, you know my general response. Wes, go frogs. Go frogs. Holy smokes! Judge, what are you doing here? Can't anybody go to the bathroom by themselves? <laughs>